How to run Windows 11 on a USB stick, for supported and unsupported hardware. You've heard it right. Windows 11 running from a USB stick, not a bootable installation USB drive, but to actually have Windows 11 installed on a USB stick that can be switched from device to device either with supported hardware or not. To make it clear what I mean about supported hardware or not, is that you can use the same USB stick on any device, from an end game PC with latest CPU, down to a first gen, legacy BIOS, low RAM relic, without bypassing anything. Also, this method is not just for Windows 11, but also for Windows 10, 8.1, 8 and 7, whichever you prefer. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. Go to your browser, and search for Rufus, or go to the website rufus.ie. Here, you can download the latest version, 3.15, or go to other versions, and download the latest beta version, 3.16. There is a reason why I suggest this beta version, and you will see later in the video why. Once the download is complete, open Rufus, and insert your USB stick. Next, you need a Windows 11 ISO. To download the ISO, type in your browser, Windows 11 ISO, and choose the first link from Microsoft. Scroll down until you see, Windows 11 disk image, select, Windows 11, and click on, download. After selecting the product language, click on, confirm, and your ISO will be available for download. Back in Rufus, click on select, and choose the downloaded Windows 11 ISO. Now, here's why I suggested to download the new beta version of Rufus. In Windows 11's case, with the beta version, you can create bootable installer USB for supported hardware, with TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. Or, if you select Extended Windows 11 installation, Rufus will patch the media so that Windows can be installed on unsupported hardware. This way, you don't have to make the bypass yourself. But for this video, is the third option that interests us, and that is, Windows to go. With this option, we can install Windows on the USB stick and run it on any device. Next step, select the Partition Scheme to MBR, so that you can use the stick on UEFI and Legacy BIOS. Leave everything else how it is, and press Start. Choose which version of Windows 11 you wish to install, and click on OK. Because of the partition scheme set on MBR, you are reminded that you need to disable secure boot in order to run this USB. You can close this window, close Rufus, and restart your device. While restarting, go to Boot Menu, and select your USB drive. Common keys for accessing the boot menu are Escape, F2, F10, or F12, depending on the manufacturer. At this point, all that is left for you to do is go through with the Windows setup. Worth mentioning that the speed of everything depends mostly on how good your USB is. The better and faster your USB is, the faster the setup and Windows itself. My 16GB SanDisk USB is not that great, so the process took a while. Now that the setup is complete, you can use your Windows 11 system. I do recommend using a bigger USB stick. As you can see, after update, my 16 gigs USB is almost full, leaving almost no space for installing software. I could delete some of the bloatware and install the software that I need on other drive. But if I install on other drive, it will not be on the USB if I switch it to other device, so a 32 or 64 gigs USB would be better. Another great thing worth mentioning is that with Windows 11 on the USB, you still have full access to the other drives from the device. 
So this could be a good way to fix your PC if, for example, your primary OS is faulty, corrupt, or anything else. To go on with the video, I will switch now the USB to a 12 years old, unsupported, first gen, legacy BIOS device. As you can see, it's the same USB, but for some reason, on this device it does not appear as full as before, but with 2.4 gigs of free space. But in rest, everything works without any problems.